Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. You know, our people say any man who decides that what they want to do in this world is to unburn a dry tree. Unburn a dry tree. That is, the tree is dry. They want to unburn the dry tree. That person has chosen to fail. Yes, so that is what they say. It is an adage. That person has chosen a path that will lead to failure for that person. Now we heard though that um, uh, uh, Ikbi got up from bed and she was crying. Oni, so Oni of Ife is still in love with Queen Naomi. So it was all a lie. Chai, I am a F O O L to have believed otherwise. They said Ikbi cried, cried so much in the hospital. So obviously. At some point, you know exactly, like people know that there's some level of manipulations and you begin to lie to yourself and believe that, you know, it could be true that this man doesn't care about this woman and this man does not love the woman. So that was what she was thinking. They said this reunion has not gone well with Ikbi, that one of the most affected persons is Ikbi, then Ed Bonnie, that these people have been so badly affected that this reunion has not gone well for them at all, at all, at all, at all. You know, at some point, we got to that point where everybody started thinking that um, um, Olori Nami and Oni of Ife, they were over and done with. As a matter of fact, it was so bad that to, be, to tell you the truth, being myself, I felt like that relationship is over and done with. I never knew that there would be anything that would make these people come back together again. Imagine such situation where it got to a point where KBSC would sit down and begin to taunt the lady. I, I felt so bad. There was this um, incident that happened when he sat his wife down. And for me, eh, the way the thing sounded was like he was taunting Olori Naomi. I felt so bad. My heart was broken. I got really emotional. Like that night, eh, I felt really, really bad. That How bad can this be? How bad can this be? But like people have been saying, um, even in the comment section, they keep saying that, look, there, there's nothing God cannot do. There is nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing really uh, that God cannot do. And we are hoping and praying every day that Naomi finds that lasting peace in this um, um home and God restores every. Everything, everything that is our prayer. They say if we woke up and she was crying so badly that uh, she could never have believed that she was such a a, a fool that um, why would KBSC do this to her? That uh, so it was all a lie. So KBSC is still in love with Olori Naomi and all of that, and so. You know, when it got to that point where it was looking as though KBSC was taunting Naomi, they felt like, okay, it has gotten this bad. It will never be restored again. This is um, um, something that has made me uh, and every other person, and this is why people will say that there is no level of brokenness that cannot be restored as long as you believe in God. I want to use this opportunity to give our channel members an amazing weekend hug from De La Rama. Hmm. And before I give you this hug, I want to tell you that I appreciate you. I love you. I respect you. I am grateful from the depth of my heart. My knee is on the ground. I am saying a show adukwe. Thank you, my people. I thank you, sir. The way you guys have supported me, the way you have been here, I am so grateful. I am grateful. I am humble. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Madam Tony Uzo, Madam Joyce Ndubuese, Madam Gloria Akra, Mommy Kaide Adeniyi. Uh, Madam Busy B, Mommy Elizabeth Ogun Rede, Daddy Taiwo Ali Balogun, um, Daddy Head Bello Ade Tayo, Mommy Abe, the Mommy, and Chief Amani, they are money. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you, people, from the depth of my heart. I appreciate each and every one of you so much, so much, so much, so much. May God bless you all. Okay, they said this woman got up and she was crying that um, uh, she's been so deceived. 
that she's been such a woe that uh, she could never believe that this would have happened. And so a lot of people are saying, okay, maybe the Baba, maybe the Baba deceived you also. Because for you to have had this 100% assurance that nothing is going to happen, you know, between this couple again, it therefore means that, um, you know, um, you thought that what you, uh, you guys have done was too strong. They thought that they have talked about the part of confusion. Even recently, they mentioned it again. How um, uh, Kabi and Sidi are using a part of confusion. Nami, they are using a part of anger. That these are the two tools that they are using to separate these people over and over again. That if they are not careful, that what has happened is still going to happen again. But I want to believe that well-meaning people have spoken to Olori Nami to forget about the fact that Kabi and is married. And that if she returns to the palace now and she hears that Kabiesi is marrying 100 wives, she should just forget about it, right? Dr. Elizabeth is, a, is still very young. She knows that Kabiesi is marrying and marrying, but she's still there and she is happy. And what is important is the fact that Kabiesi is not even ready to marry those women and bring those women to the place where Naomi is staying anymore. Kabiesi is ready to marry them and... Um, you know, um, leave them where, you know, that was where they saw now. They all wanted the palace and they got the palace. And right now, the new royal castle um, will be for the only of Ife and Queen Naomi alone and others will stay in the palace. And so the palace remains what it is, the most beautiful place and, you know, the luxury the servants, everybody, they are still there in the palace. So there'll be no fight, there'll be no fault anymore. And so um, um, uh, they, I, I don't think that Nami would get angry again over anything. And we pray that she doesn't get angry again and Oni of Ife does not push it too hard on her again. So they say Ikbi has been crying. According to what we are hearing, if the information is true, they said uh, 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 she has lost a baby again. Oh. Yeah, that's what they are saying, that that day she left, that she had um, threatened AB, right? Then I want to also let you guys know that sometimes, like my own blog here, when I come today and I give you an update, that does not mean that it happened yesterday or happened today, today, today. Maybe three, four days or thereabout, right? It's an update following up with the information that was there before where you want to just give updates so that people will stay abreast with the information that is happening. And that is why. So if perhaps something happened uh, yesterday and I, I am giving the update and you saw maybe the only or the other person today don't conclude know that if it happens today 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 most times we hardly get those news like that except you are on standby and somebody just gives you the news so i wanted to bring you this update so that you know what's going on they say this woman has been crying and crying that she has lost the baby again that um, um is the fault of kabi say that uh, she deserved better she's worked so hard that um, how is it possible that she did not um, find out that KBS is still in love with baby girl Olori Naomi? I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Do not forget, these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media.